applied as we need them because uh, he was really willing to work with us. In fact, the quote that we got here is the same quote that was given the city for removal of some of their projects. So he said it just make it all the same. The gravel is an estimate too. It's you know somewhere if you see the, the figure there and the missile light blanets that I put in there was just for uh, like I, I put some signs up down there, no trespassing signs and little things that we don't know about. I don't look for that 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 amount of money to be used. Um, and you see the total of the estimate. Um, a couple of the notes. I've got a glass company that's going to come pull the glass. Uh, and I'm, when they get ready to come, I'm going to put a dumpster down there for them so they can, they don't want the glass, but they'll take the doors and the frame. And I'd really rather have that done instead of hitting those with a track hole and then we got glass out in the street and everything. So I'm, I'm hoping this company follows through because it was at no cost. They'll come get it. They wanted the aluminum for scrap. And uh, so if they don't, then we are going to have to go with plan B and we're just going to have to take it out with the track holder. We're just going to have to try to keep it cleaned up the best we can. So the rest, as, as of this moment right now, everything's taken out except Atmos. I'm waiting on, on them uh, to pull the gas. And when they pull the, when they, they just don't unhook the meter, they have to go all the way back to the street. They have to dig the street up, they take the tap off, and they weld over that tap on the main line. And then, so if we're pulling out lines, we don't pull out the gas main or something. So they cap that off and disconnect three foot from the gas pipe. And then if we ever get gas back down there, we'll have to have a street dug up again. And a tap put in Is that why they've been digging down the middle of the street? No, it was no, so that was for the sewer. Oh. The city sewer collapsed between that, them two points. So, and I, I actually think the gas tap is in the out oh, behind the leaky yeah. building. So I don't, I don't think that's really going to be a big mess up. So all the electric plant board is taken out. All the power, everything dead. The building's dead uh, as far as electrical. Uh, one thing I was going to say, probably we're probably going to be a little. I'm, I'm just not for sure. Fifteen. Me and Bobby talked about it. We just don't know. If Fifteen loads is going to take it off. Uh, we may have to have a little bit more. So I'm actually uh, asking for a line item of around twenty thousand, and I hope we don't get there. But what I didn't want to do is get into the middle of it. We go over what this the estimate is, and we have to come back to the court and ask for money because. Our time thing is going to be to try to get it down as soon as we can so we can get the rental equipment down. Uh, and if you look at that too, that's that's 3500 per week and we're hoping a week, but you know, here again it may take it may take longer that's to get it a, down. That's what I was going to say. If it were to take an extra week, then that's another 3500 Yeah. But even at that, if we get to the 20 or, or a little bit over, we're still more than half of less what it would cost to have somebody, company to come in there and... Because everything they do, they add a little bit to it for them. Oh, yeah. yeah. And like the ad business, and all that would have been even a certain percentage to add it to it. So I think we're going to be well below, you know, I, I was, for an area that big, I was thinking forty to 43000 to get it tore down by a professional company because they, they go about it a different way. Uh, well, and even even at the if it does take the entire twenty, if it, if it does go that deep, uh, just all things considered, on the purchase of the property and where we're at, we're we're, we're still going to be in pretty doggone good. I think we should do a twenty-two-five line item because I know they're going to waste the money, and that way I know they won't have to come back. Well, we I don't know if you noticed today, but there was a twenty thousand dollar transfer today that was made to cover this in anticipation that we move forward. Okay. So we've got a 20000 transfer made today. But, I mean, hopefully that will cover it. If not, we may have to come back. But <coughs> Bill felt like 20000 would be the number that we should not exceed. Well, I was trying to figure if we got so many more loads, another another five loads, that that, that money and, yeah. you know, and another. Because like I said, I'm hoping maybe the roller situation won't be needed and we'll save a 1000 there and... Uh, you know, and you know, I want everything. We just have hopefully, of course, it'll be tough right about now, but hopefully we can catch a week where the weather forecast is like pretty good all week long <coughs> and you get a full five days to, to operate equipment rather than just two or three days to operate. I don't know, it says March and it's only a couple weeks away. 
I think one of our main concerns was down there on the, on the tonnage and what we're hauling out is the fact that the, the roof is metal. <coughs> if you look, it starts at the front, slopes all the way to the back with metal. And uh, Bobby even suggested maybe that the, the, the crew that goes out picks up trash, we might put them on it when the weather breaks and just let them guys get down there with a couple of screw guns and start taking some of the metal, not on the roof, we're not gonna put anybody on that roof. <coughs> start taking some of the metal off the sides and stacking that metal up and we might even be able to scrap that metal out and sell it for scrap. But you know, I think what's gonna take up our space is getting that metal folded up, try to get it in the dumpsters. And another thing, probably one load, probably that's one of the, <coughs> the dumpsters are gonna be full of trash. Of what they've left there. Yeah. A couple of them buildings are full. Need the pull. back building full. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and there's, there's, there's just, it goes on with how much trash we've got in there. So I don't know that we really need a bed. I mean, I need a <coughs> boat, and that that will be up to the court if you want to vote this in. I just don't know how we would uh, make a motion for the amount. So I mean, it's kind of like. We, we need to do it. We need to get it on the ground. Yeah, it sounds like the amount's already been determined and make the transfer. Yeah, if you already got the money transferred, yeah, that's not good to go. So I, I couldn't, I don't think I'm wrong here, but I think everyone's anticipation was we would get this building on the ground as quickly as possible. Well, February 26 is the date that I've already set for the asbestos to be removed. <coughs> that's on their calendar. They're coming the 26th to get the asbestos off. From, and then after that is whenever public work can, because I know they've got some projects they're waiting for the weather, the weather to break to get them done first. So it's really going to be uh, upon when the public works department can actually get started. All right, gentlemen, any questions? If there's no other comments or concerns, all I need is a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. So I'll move by Nate. Second by my. Sure. Sure. All in favor? Aye. Aye.